So who is a strat actually for? That is what we're gonna be answering today. I posted a question for you guys a little bit ago asking what was your favorite thing and least favorite thing about a strat? So all the stuff we're gonna talk about comes from you guys and we're gonna hopefully paint the picture of who a strat's really for. Now before we get into all of that stuff, hit the subscribe button, come hang out with me, and let's get into the strat video. So let's do a pros and cons. So let's start with the pros here. And one of the biggest things that kept coming up with you guys was tone. Obviously a Strat has an incredibly unique tone. That's one of its best assets is that it's kind of one of those foundational tones that people use as an adjective now. When you hear a guitar with single coils, a lot of times it's described as being, oh, that's very Stratty. You know, the, literally the type of guitar is used as the descriptive word for the tone. So right off the bat, you've got one of the most iconic tones in your hands. So let's move on to the looks. Now the looks of a Strat is something that you can see everywhere. Look at most t-shirts that feature a guitar. It's probably got a silhouette of a Strat somewhere in it. It is just one of the most iconic looking guitars ever. Think about how many versions and copies of a Strat there are out there. So if you like the way it looks, that's obviously going to be a huge selling point. If you don't, you're probably turned off from strats right from the get-go and you don't even need the other reasons. Now the comfort of a strat is kind of second to none. Before a strat, everything was very boxy. Think about a Telecaster, very just kind of sharp edges, Les Paul, sharp edges, just this very boxy approach to guitars. The Strat was the one that came out with all these contours, this very rounded approach to it. I mean, it's got the belly cut, all kinds of stuff. So when it comes to comfort, that is a huge pro for a Strat because it's the one that kind of started all this stuff. They just hug you when you're playing. You're, you know, having a bad day playing your Strat and the Strat's like, dude, I, I got you and just hugs you. And that's what Strats do. One of the coolest things about a Strat by far is how easy it is to modify. You can change a Strat in so many ways that you can't other guitars. For one, it's a bolt-on neck. So, oh, you've got a rosewood fingerboard and you don't want that anymore? Boom, take the neck off, put a maple neck on there. Oh, I'm sorry, you want two humbuckers? Boom, get a new pickguard, double humbuckers. You can literally change pretty much every aspect of the guitar. You could route it for a Floyd Rose. You can do whatever you want to these things. And the whole concept behind the Strat was you should be able to take it apart with a screwdriver. You, know, you could disassemble this entire guitar probably in like, you know, five, six minutes and you can modify it just as easily. Now let's move to the other side, the cons, because there were a few that came up in almost every comment. First one, volume knob placement. Bro, why you in my way? Oh, I'm sorry, middle pickup. Bro, why you in my way? Neck joint. Actually, the, oh no, bro, why you in my way? So a lot of the controls of a Strat are very close together. There's a lot going on in this little area here. If you're like me, I, I, I do both. I play with both my hand closed and my fingers kind of fanned. For one, you smack the pickup selector all the time. I, you know, I've really had to adjust the way that I play for a Strat because of all the controls. The volume knob, I had the hardest time forever hitting the volume knob and rolling it down. It, eventually, at one point, I started just popping the volume knob off whenever I would play. That way, it just stayed on 10 all the time because what's more rock and roll than 10 all the time? You just kind of, you, you get used to it. You know, it's, it's definitely something that there have been a lot of modern improvements on, the neck joint. But this stuff, it's funny. Nothing has really been changed here. You know, there are some guitars that have two volume, like just one volume and one tone. That definitely clears up some space here. But the selector switch placement, like it's, it's always there. No one has changed that. I don't have a better solution for it, to be honest, but it's always right there. And that was just something I kept seeing people talk about. 
selector switch, volume knob, and then the neck joint, and the middle pickup always in the way. I wind my middle pickup all the way down. And the final couple here are things that kind of just make a strat a strat in my opinion, but also aren't always the favorite. Now the bridge pickup is a huge issue for a lot of people, myself included. I've never really loved the bridge pickup on a Strat until I wired my tone knob to it. The, the bridge pickups were always very, very bitey, kind of like just ice picky. I didn't like them. I wished it was a telly every time I played it. If you wire your tone knob to it, it solves a lot of that. It's still not my favorite bridge sound for sure. I love a Telecaster quite a bit more, but there are some solutions. Obviously you could put a humbucker in there and that is a whole different beast. And that, to me, that's not a Strat anymore. That's a super Strat at that point. But um, the bridge pickup was just a lot of people said, you know, they love the neck, they love the in-between positions, don't love the bridge pickup. So I, I totally can relate to that one. And then the other one was of course, people talking about the tremolo system and that is something that makes a strat a strat. You, you can kind of find hardtails every once in a while. They're not real common, but you know, if, if kind of the tremolo system is just not your thing, you know, you might be better off looking for something that is that is hardtail and not a traditional strat because it can have tuning issues if you don't set it up the right way, if you don't, you know, dock it and lock it. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong with it. So those are just some of the other complaints. So let's wrap this all up. Who is a Strat for? I think a Strat is for someone who wants, for one, a very comfortable guitar to play, but also someone who wants a guitar that has a very unique sound. You know, a Strat can do a lot of things, but the thing it does best is sound like a Strat. So if you want it to sound like a Les Paul, it's not gonna really get you there. You know, you wanna make sure that you want that Strat sound. Cause even with humbuckers, there's this underlying Strattiness that's just always there. So. That's who those strats were in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, we will be announcing the winner of the 57 American Vintage 2, I forgot the name of the strat, the 57 American Vintage 2 strat later this week. So I'm sure some of you are gonna ask me about that. And uh, other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it bluesy strat style, which means double stops, SRV chords, and Jimi Hendrix bends. Mm -hmm.